Hello, and welcome back to my channel. So, you may recall in January, I put out a video of all the books that I read in 2017. That took a long time because there was 100 books, and I don't want to do that again, so I've decided to do it on the half year. These are all the books that I have read in the last six months. There are many of them. 61 to be exact, which I think is pretty darn good. So, welcome to the video and let's get started. So far I have read The Power by Naomi Alderman and I gave that two out of four stars, as you wish. Inconceivable Tales from the Making of the Princess Bride by Carrie Ulls, and I rated this 5 out of 5. Clariel by Garth Nix. This is the fourth book in the Orson series, and I rated it a 4 out of 5. Alana, The First Adventure, which is the first book in the Song of the Lioness Quartet by Tamora Pierce, and I rated this 5 out of 5. The Just City by Joe Walton, which is the first book in the Thessaly trilogy, and I rated this 5 out of 5. The Possessed by Dostoevsky, which I rated 3 out of 5. Princess Raven the Pirate Princess, Volume 1, Captain Raven and the All-Girl Pirate Crew uh, by various people, and I rated this a 5 out of 5. In the Hand of the Goddess by Tamora Pierce, which is the second book in the Song of the Lioness, Lioness Quartet, and I rated this 4 out of 5. A History of Magic by the uh, British Library, which I rated 4 out of 5. And finally, for January, I read Lady of Magic, which is the second book in a Nocturnus Magia novel series, and it is by Sylvia Izzo Hunter, and I rated this 5 out of 5. Then on to February, I started off by reading Sega Volume 4, which I rated 4 out of 5. Then I read The Warrior Heir by Cinda Williams Chima. This is the first book in the Air Chronicles. Then I read The Wizard Heir by Cinda Williams Chima, and this is the second book in the Air Chronicles. And I rated this 4 out of 5. Then I read The Dragon Heir by Cinda Williams Chima, which I rated 4 out of 5, and this is the third book in the Air Chronicles. Next, I read Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Merlier. This is the first book in the Seven Waters series, and I rated it 4 out of 5. Then I read The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George, and I rated it 2 out of 5. Next, I read Zodiac Star Force Volume 1 by The Power of Astra, and this is by Kevin Panita and someone whose name I cannot pronounce, so I'm going to skip that, and I rated it 4 out of 5. Then I read the Enchanter's Heir by Cinda Williams Chima. This is the fourth book in the Air Chronicles, and I rated it 3 out of 5. Next, I read The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry, and I rated this 2 out of 5. Then I read Artemis Fowl Graphic Novel Number 1, uh, which is, of course, by Owen Colfer, and I rated this 3 out of 5. Then I read The Woman Who Rides Like a Man, which is the third book in the Song of the Lioness Quartet by Tamora Pierce, and I rated it 4 out of 5. Next, I read... A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Long, which I rated a 3 out of 5. Then I read Linus Rampant, the fourth and final book in the Song of the Linus Qu Quartet, and I rated it 4 out of 5. On to March, I started March by reading The Sorcerer Air, which is the last book in the Air Chronicles by Cinda Williams Chima, and I rated it 4 out of 5. Then I read Small Gods by Terry Pratchett, which is in the Discworld series, and I forgot what one it was. Uh, but I rated it 4 out of 5. Next, I read The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden, which I rated 3 out of 5. Then I read Serafina by Rachel Hartman, which I rated 4 out of 5. Next, I read Wild Magic, which is the first in the Immortals Quartet by Tamora Pierce, and I rated it 4 out of 5. Then I read Wolf Speaker, also by Tamora Pierce, the second in the series, which I also rated 4 out of 5. Then I read The Resur Resurrectionist by E.B. Hudspeth, and I rated it 2 out of 5. Then I started the Yarn Retreat Mystery Series with Yarn to Go by Betty Hetchman, and I rated this 3 out of 5. I followed that with the second book in the series, Silence of the Lamb's Wool, and I rated it 3 out of 5. Starting April, I continued on in that series and read Wound Up in Murder by Betty Hetchman, and rated that 3 out of 5. Then I read Gone with the Wool by Betty Hetchman, and also rated that 3 out of 5. 
Next I read The House of the Spirits, which by Isabel Alden, Alanit, Alanda, which I rated 2 out of 5. I read Paper Girls Volume 4 and rated it 4 out of 5. I then concluded the Yarn Retreat mystery series and read A Tangled Yarn by Betty Hutchman and also rated it 3 out of 5. Next I read my first real superhero graphic novel, Wonder Woman Year One, and that is by Greg Rucka. After that I finished off this duology and read Shadow Scale by Rachel Hartman and I rated this 4 out of 5. Then Cirque came out and I felt bad and hadn't read Song of Achilles so I did read it and it's by Madeline Miller and I rated it also 4 out of 5. Then to end off that month I read Emperor Mage by Tamora Pierce. This is the third in the Immortals Quartet and I rated it 4 out of 5. To start off May I read The Realm of the Gods finishing off that quartet by Tamora Pierce and I rated this 4 out of 5. Next I read Lumberjanes Volume 4 uh, by Noel Stevenson and I rated this 4 out of 5. I went on a little bit of a graphic novels kick and read the vo first volume of Giant Days uh, by many different people and rated this 3 out of 5. Then I completed Son of the Shadows by Juliette Marillier. This is the second book in the Seven Waters series and I rated this 4 out of 5. Next I started the next series in the Tortal universe, Protector of the Small with First Test by Tamora Pierce and I rated this 4 out of 5. I followed that up with uh, Paige which I also rated 4 out of 5 and I was on a little bit of a roll so I also read Squire which I rated 4 out of 5 and then of course Lady Knight which I rated 5 out of 5. Then I completed one of my favorite fantasy series and read Season of Spells by Sylvia Izzo Hunter, which I rated 5 out of 5. To finish off May, I read Sega Volume 5 and I rated it 3 out of 5. On to the final month. I started off June by finishing The Great Hunt by Robert Jordan. I enjoyed it and I rated it 4 out of 5. Next, I read the Case of the Missing Men by Chris Burton and Alexander Forbes. This is a graphic novel and I rated it 3 out of 5. Next I finished The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn and rated it 5 out of 5. After that I continued on with Thessaly and reread The Philosopher Kings by Joe Walton. This is the second book in the trilogy and I rated it 5 out of 5. Then I completed Volume 1 of Monstrous Awakening by Marjorie Liu and Sana K Takeda and I rated it 3 out of 5. After that I finished Necessity and finished off the Thessaly uh, trilogy by Joe Walton and I rated this also 5 out of 5. Then I participated in the library at Mount Shard read along by reading The Library at Mount Shard by Scott Hawkins and I rated this 2 out of 5. Then I read Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan and I rated this 4 out of 5. Then I read Princess Raven the Pirate Princess book 2 Free Women and I rated this 3 out of 5. The second to last book that I completed was My Sunshine Away by M. O. Walsh and I waited, rated this 2 out of 5. And finally I read The Child of Prophecy by Juliette Marillier and this is the third book in the Seven Waters series. So now I'm going back and doing a more visual comparison of the books that I have read so far this year. We're starting of course with January in January I read eight books. This is of course excludes all large format books such as graphic novels and uh, the history of magic for a total page count of 3,415. In February I read ten books and three graphic novels for a total of 4,502 pages. In March I read a total of eight books and one large format book for a total of 3,226 pages. In April I read seven books and two graphic novels for a total page count of 2,996 pages. In May I read seven novels and three graphic novels for a total page count of 3,101. And finally in June I read nine novels and two graphic novels for a total page count of 4,128 pages. I think this visual gives a very interesting story about my reading habits. Clearly I peaked in February and then again have peaked in June, though these months here were much lighter. 
but let us get into my favorite thing, the genres. This year I'm going to start off by talking about all the graphic novels that I have read. There are 12 of them, they are large, and they are very heavy. I have read 21 YA fantasy novels. All of these belong to series. Several of these series I have finished, five to be exact, so uh, that's not too bad. Next we have 12 adult fantasy novels, only one of which is not in a series, and two of the series I have actually finished. I have read five cozy mysteries, and that is one complete series. I have also read one thriller, which I'm going to put right beside the cozies because it needs something to hold it up. I have read three adult contemporary books, three historical fictions, two speculative fictions, one biography, one classic, and one non-fiction. I mean, as far as genres go, I think I've done pretty well. Clearly, I have been favoring strongly the fantasy, um, but I'm also doing two read-alongs, uh, which has taken up a lot of that. All the Tamora Pierce is for Read Tortal, and all the Seven Water books are for Read Seven Waters, both of which are being held by April Sarah, and I will link those read-alongs down below. It is never too late to join in. But, uh, you know, I'm, I am pretty happy with that. Now, on to my favorite part, the countries. Again, large format books will be excluded because they do not fit well or look nice here. Countries is always one of my favorite comparisons. So I read 29 books by American authors, seven books by British authors, four by Canadian authors, three by authors from New Zealand, one by an author from Australia, one from a Chilean author, one from a German author, one by a Russian author, and finally one by a Singaporean. Of course all my large format books have been excluded from this as well. There are more American authors that I have written, that I have read in the graphic novels, as well as a Canadian author as well, so that's pretty cool. But as you can tell, about half of the things that I have read were by American authors. So that's a statistic right there for you. Finally, to my last separation of books, my males versus female authors. Last year I was pretty well 50-50 with my male to female split, but this year so far I've only read nine books by male authors. This of course means that I have read a total of 39 books by female authors, excluding graphic novels. So I think that is pretty fantastic. So as I was going through all the books that I've read so far this year, you might have noticed that there were some that I did not enjoy. So to finish out this video, um, aside from musing on the fact that uh, I've read more female authors than male authors, which is a little surprising but also great, I'm going to do a mini unhaul. Because there are books here that I don't want to read again, that I don't love, and I don't want. So starting with The Essex Serpent. Goodbye. The House of the Spirit. Goodbye. I would say goodbye to the Little Paris Bookshop, but I borrowed it. But also, goodbye. The Library at Mount Shard. Just bought it. Read it. Goodbye. My Son Shine Away. I borrowed this, but if it was mine, I wouldn't keep it. And finally, The Power by Naomi Allman. Goodbye. So, with that, I bid you adieu. We have four books later, and we have read many. We'll see you in the next video. Comment down below if you'd like to see a video of the books that I bought so far this year, uh, which would be a lot of fun to film for me. See you next time.